day three of Vacation Bible School crafts. Today we are going to be making Olympic torches. Um, these are very significant with the Olympics. I'm not sure if you were able to watch the opening ceremony, but um, this is actually a very historic background, and they still really do it the same way that they do it now, back to how they used to do it in ancient Greece for the Olympic Games. Um, in ancient Greece, a long relay of runners used to carry torches to bring a flame to Olympia, which is in Greece, which was the site of their athletic competitions. They lit the torch using a mirror to reflect the sun's rays. So think about how cool that is, that they used a mirror to catch the sun rays. It's not just any mirror. I think it's a special mirror um, that lights the torch. And so today, they light the torch the same way in Olympia, in Greece, and they carry it around the world and they get it all the way to the site of the Olympics. And so this year, the Olympics are in Japan. So the um, torch will travel, the flame will travel from Olympia, Greece, all the way to Tokyo. That's 12,000 miles. Can you imagine? In order to get it around the world, they sometimes have to take it on boats or in airplanes, and they have special little crates and things that they use to get it from um, country to country around the world. But when you make your torches today, what I want you to remember for BBS is to use your torch to let your light shine. Um, that's something we like to say around the house a lot is just to let your light shine because we all have one. And um, this is a good reminder that God made you bright. So Abe is already starting. Um, today we are um, needing some cardstock parents. I have this at Michael's. This is just um, one of those pieces of paper you can get in the paper aisle. But if you don't have this, that's fine. Just maybe um, you can staple together some cardstock. It can just be white or whatever you have on hand. And honestly, um, this is kind of a bigger torch that we're making over here. But you can, you can kind of get the concept and edit it to what you have. Good job. And then you need some red tissue paper, some yellow tissue paper. And then I also found this kind of like flamed orange and yellow combination. So we're going to need a lot more nuts, so keep ripping, okay? So Abe is just sitting here tearing it into little shreds. And while he's doing that, I'm going to show you, kind of roll it up like a little ice cream pen, um, really, really tight, and then just kind of run some staples down. So do you see how it's kind of like you just get it rolled up real tight. Um, and then obviously the bigger the opening, the more tissue paper you're going to need. So if you don't have a lot of tissue paper, maybe try to make it pretty skinny up top so that you um, don't have as much to fill in. If you can see up close, this is really a ton of tissue paper that I've glued around the edges. So then parents, if you have a stapler on hand, I think that's probably the easiest way to get this to close. Um, I'm actually going to use a... Um, glue gun too just to get this little tip to hold but I'm sure you could do Elmer's too so just press it for a while all right so now that Abe has so many little pieces of paper he's going to start gluing around the edge and then putting the tissue paper so what you do is you keep doing layer after layer on top of each other so Abe, do you want to try to just start putting some glue right here on the edge? Mm -hmm. Nice, good boy. There you go. Just kind of here we go. All right, so just do one little dot at a time, and then maybe put a couple different. So you can kind of get like one red piece, and then one yellow piece. There's no particular order because you just kind of want it to look like a flame. Maybe do one orange piece down there, should I really put that? Okay. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to show you a close up of what he's doing. So we're just putting a little dot of glue around the edge and then adding a red a yellow and an orange and we're just going to keep doing this all the way around until it gets big and bright so it can be like your torch so thank you for joining us today and we hope you have a great rest 
of the day. And please try to um, pay attention if you can see the flame going around the world. Sometimes they show um, videos of it. Or you can also look up a video with the help of an adult um, from a prior Olympics to watch it go around the world. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.